Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arco Studio. In this tutorial, we will talk about professional exterior rendering in Enscape for SketchUp. I do many type of references and tutorials, but this time I want to show how we can work with sun and clouds and how we can use the effect of them on our realistic exterior render. First of all, I'm gonna press F and select Summer Villa number 4 in here, and this is my main camera shot in this place. So, I'm going to click on the app projection and change it to the two point perspective. Now we have better view for our job. So I'm going to click on the safe frame in here and safe frame with the full HD resolution will be available for me. So I'm going to click on the visual setting, move my visual setting to, for example, this part of my job, something like that. And then we want to start my rendering. First of all, I'm going to increase rendering quality to the ultra to see all the changes at the same period of time. If I go to the output, I can increase resolution and absolutely increase the quality of my work. So Ultra HD is my selected resolution. You can change the file format if you want PNG, GPG, Extra or TGA. It completely depends on you. I will come to the skybox in here and in these type of exterior renders, you need to have some clear sky for better results. So I want to turn off Cyrus amount, variety, and density of clouds, or maybe you can increase it a little bit, not too much, but I don't like it. So I'm going to turn it off. If I go to the atmosphere, you can see fog option is completely disabled because we don't need any type of necessary fog for this render and scene in here. So I need to play with the illuminations to see what really happened inside of my project. I'm going to move my visual setting to the center point, someplace like that, to see the shadows, details, and all the necessary settings for the realistic exterior rendering. First of all, in this type of scenes, I can increase sun brightness as I can. Look at the sky color in here. When our sun brightness on the 80%, the sky is not really super blue, but if I increase sun brightness, the sky contrast will be increased immediately. So I think it can be really interesting, 182% is enough. We don't need night sky brightness so we don't touch it, but shadow sharpness related to these leaves and trees shadows. So I can increase it a little bit to create sharp shadows in here or change it to the 96%. Ambient brightness work as a hyperlight and you can make your darker places more brighter. So. 68% is enough, artificial light brightness is about 106%, wind is about 6%, in the image bar we have saturation and color temperature, I need some warm render so I will decrease color temperature to the 5600 Calvina and my saturation is about 104%. Motion blur not really useful because we didn't create any type of animation. Bloom option is about 8% and lens flare is about 24%. Wignate can be make your render more artistic and you can create some blackness in your render corners. I think 44% is enough. I will come to the main bar, increase the exposure to the 56%. And now I want to turn on the depth of field, turn off the autofocus. And now I can play with the focal point. You can see some shiny line in here. I want to focus on the facade design in here. I think some type of number about 12.54 is enough. And when I increase the depth of field, look at this flower in here. It will completely get on the flu option. So I want to make some medium rendering quality. So I can decrease the depth of field and you can see what really happened. You can see the detail of your foreground objects. 11% is enough. Everything is fine in here. I can switch to the white mode to see all the lights and details. Everything is fine. I will come back to the non mode. In the skybox everything is ready, output is checked, atmosphere check, image bar is good. In the atmosphere I can reduce some brightness a little bit, 166. And now time for the rendering. So click on the uh, screenshot in here and select your desktop in this place and press save. It takes a little bit of time and after that Enscape will generate some super realistic for you and you can create these type of mesmerizing renders from the exterior design in the SketchUp. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And you can share this content if you enjoy from this content. 
Thanks for your time. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.